So for the second part of the question that we're going to go ahead and demand is going to have an increase. So we're looking at an increase in demand or change in demand or the shift right of the demand curve. So your final graph should have a shift right of the demand curve. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the other graph. You're going to copy and paste the new table into Excel. And then, pretty easy, you can go into either design up here, right? And, or else right click if you're on, on a, Mac, uh, a PC, hit on select data. You're going to add, and we're going to call this demand2. X values for demand2 are now our new quantity values. The Y values are the same exact price values, because you know prices are the same exact price values. You're going to say OK. You'll say OK again. And then you know our first equilibrium point here, right, is here. And then you might want to insert a second equilibrium point. I'll click on the oval again, have it right there. Right, I'm gonna make it be a little bigger. And there's your next equilibrium point. Again, you can snip or copy and paste it. And you are done. You just have to answer that question. The last question. Good luck on this assignment.